Um, I'm actually be giving you the West Ham versus Arsenal pre uh, review and the Brentford versus West Ham review. West Ham three, Arsenal one. What a game that was! So happy to get the three point, the three, um, the the win, the, the win against Arsenal. Um, that means we're playing against Liverpool away, and that game is in December, the ninth. Um, interesting game. I mean, fi- I think this is the game where we when we finally got a mojo. We were motivated, and yes, I don't feel like Moyes did put us um at the A team. I feel like some of the B players that like Ben Rama and Maverick Panos and um, was used for now was used. Um, some players like Piquetta, Emerson had to be used, and it was a really interesting game to go. To a team that's unbeaten in the Premier League and win the game is a, is a fantastic result to get. To three point, I mean, we, we don't really do good in the Carabao Cup. Carabao Cup is a competition we've never won. So it's an interesting way to, to get three points. My question is, is why can't we get those, why can't we get this motivation out of this team in every other game? We attacked Arsenal defenders. We put them in their place. We we done the job, but the same there's some games like Everton, Olympiacos, and Villa. We do we just there's no motivation. There's no mojo, and this game is just described how perfect our team is doing with the motivation we've got. And, and and we needed a victory. We after the three losses, we needed that more than Arsenal needed. Arsenal didn't care. They had they had to put a weakened team because they had to focus on the away trip to Newcastle United. So it's I don't feel like our uh, Arsenal fans can complain saying, Oh we put a weakened team when we did, we didn't even put our A team. You think we had to put up, we had to mix this quite up. We mixed the A's and the B's. And that is an interesting result. The first goal was a Benjamin White, aka Ben Frank, Ben Franklin um on goal. There was a foul dispute between um Ramsdale they're not Ramsdale, um Suchek and um and Katia. I don't think that was a foul. Honestly, that was not a foul. For me, that was not a foul. I feel like that... that um, the reason why I don't think it's a foul because if you look at the person who's behind... Um, Suchek, who got the ball... The person who got... The person who made contact was Nketiah. And Nketiah, Arsenal striker, was the one... He, he, um, elbow pushed Suchek, which Suchek landed on um, Ramsdale. So I don't. So I feel like that. If that goal was disallowed, then we should have got a penalty for that. Then I don't. Then then we should have got a penalty for, and Katia's push. The same thing happened that one second before um Suchek touched, um Ramsdale. Um, the second goal, Kudus. He's on fire. He loves scoring. He's a perfect guy. But my problem is with Kudis is the fact that Moyes doesn't use him properly. He doesn't know how to attack. He's the attacking system. He wants to focus on the defensive side, which is really annoying. To see what a goal from um, Kudis just as it volleys it and that pass. That that kudos, kudos, man. That, that, that is such a good goal to um, score. It's, <laughs> it's the type of goal that Ramsdale wouldn't have saved. And no goalie when I say that. That's just a beautiful pass to Kudis. And Kudis just smashed it. I'm proud of what he's done. Third goal was Bowen. Bowen scored. End of the game. It was 3 0. We didn't really need to. 
hat really bring them into put any more pressure. Outside the box was a deflection. You guys, it's three nil. And well, my our margin I scored the goal, but you know it's consolation goal. No, we don't really care about the concept. No one really cares about the consolation goal. It matters. The, the results more matters more than if you can score a consolation goal. Like if you if you get battered, um. 4-1, no one's going to care that who um, scored the first goal for the losing team. No one really cares. It's the fact that you got the goal in the winning team. So that is a good goal for, for both of us. Um, the, the, the Rice, um, the Rice um, situation, people are saying that Rice got um, it's a disgrace that West Ham fans booed Declan Rice when he came on as substitute. Uh, no, I I didn't boo him. I did not boo Declan Rice. I thought Declan Rice, he has to do his job, and the job is to play football. Um, yes, it was uh, disrespectful for <clears throat> some West Ham fans to um to boo him. For every son, he's been a fantastic captain, best captain, the best replacement for West Ham since no left. And we ca- we can't ask a be- anything else from Declan Rice. No, he's gonna give his best his best performance when he come when he came on, and we're gonna have to give we have to do our job. We have to do his job for Arsenal. It's not the end of the world, but I like the the fact. That even though the fans, the home fans booed him, he messaged on Instagram saying thanks to the West Ham fans who were supporting him was when he was at West Ham. So he's he's not one of those people who would fight back at the ground and say, "Oh, everything I've done for you, this is how you um respect me." So yeah, uh, now to the downside of the problem. Now here's the problem that now we've gone from happy to sad West Ham 2 Brentford 3 it's the same result it's the same problem it's the same situation he want Moyes wants Moyes wants to Moyes wants to play counter attacking football, but Moyes doesn't. But we can't defend. He, he, how many times am I gonna say this? You are in in denial. You don't know. You have a players that don't know how to defend. You you our last four games, our players have scored two own goals, and you're saying. Oh, we have to we have to counter attacking this the stupid method. We have to start doing counter attacking every time time we play football. This is too easy. Why are we giving balls away? Why if why are you what the the man the motivation we had at Arsenal has gone we left it's the same problem. We don't know how to defend. We give the ball away. Um, the first goal could have been blocked. Could have been blocked, but we didn't block it. Kudis' goal was fantastic. Bowen's goal was fantastic. Mama Panos is an, it's, it's just... I'm, I'm, I knew this was going to happen. He's, he's going to be our flop. He's going to be our big problem this season. He gave an own goal. He headed it to Flecken. Bruv, he doesn't, he's not a good defender. Why not? We, why, we, I know Zim was injured, so put off Bonner. I want off Bonner role. I'd rather put off Bonner than um, Maripanos. Third goal. <sighs> Just an embarrassment, man. Three losses in the Premier League. It's not. It's just because our team can't defend. 
Moyes is saying, oh, you know what, we've got to cut Zuma out. Oh, no, we've but but, you know, these types of things you say affects our club and it's just sad. You're playing counter-attacking team. You're playing counter-attacking team, but you can't defend. You need to change the tactics. Because if we defend more, what is the attackers going to do? They're not... Our XG is the best 16th in the XG this season. So what are you going to do? You're not going to do anything. You're going to... You're going to do the same tactics over and over again. Use the the, the counter-attacking um, tactics. You've not changed. You've not done anything this season that's changed. You've made... A fool out of yourself to think, oh, counter-attacking is a good option. But we don't know how to defend. Counter-attacking option is where we rely on our defenders. When we can't defend, how, what is it? 20 goals conceded this season because we can't defend. 11 games and we lost five. We played five games we lost. Because we can't defend, we have to. There's, we, we, we let a two-one lead go because we can't defend, and this is the thing. We've been having this problem since last season. The last two seasons, our defense has been a joke. Because lot two seasons ago. We give ball away, we get, we make mistakes, we allow teams to score. The last season, the same problem, we give the ball away, we give, we, we score a goal, we concede. It's, it's like we're giving the, it's like we're giving, it's like we're, we're letting them score easily. We we don't we lit we literally don't we couldn't no defending can't care that's the problem our defense don't care because I don't know why we can't care where's the motivation I thought this even without Pichetta and Emerson Moyes should have done a better job. Than saying, okay, guys, we have, we, yeah, we have to go to to, to Brentford, counter attack, quick counter attack them. I thought we can beat them, but you don't, you don't know, you can't, you, you're in denial. You're in denial because. You want to protect this this counter attacking method. Why buy Kudis? Buy Kipiketa? Buy Ben Rahm? Why buy attacking players when you don't want to attack? It's like saying, why buy? Why get? Why go to the shopping? Why why go to Tesco's and buy? I don't know. Uh, Um, a lamb, buy a lamb, and then realize you don't have any money, or go to go to school without no um school bag, or go to work with no I don't know without no clothes. It's that simple, but Moise doesn't understand simplicity. He doesn't understand how to do the job properly because it's. In denial, he's gotten, he's given up on the squad. I literally, I'm, I'm literally having this day job. He's saying the same thing because these sort of things he should have sorted out before this season started. And this is just frustrating to see the same mistakes over again because Moise doesn't like change. You don't like change because. 
you don't because you don't want to have the same you don't want to affect the squad you don't want change because change is is the bad thing it's an evil thing to do to change i'm i'm just baffled how played 38 games three seasons and we can't defend we're making the same mistakes 38 games I just sick and tired of having the same problem um, I can't just just see this team suffer over and over again because it's just frustrating to to think about this team can't defend and my is, is not doing anything to change 38 games no change no improvement but you know it's like he wants to it's like he misses the relegation belt it's, it's like get, having that relegation belt last season he wants to be in a relegation belt this season that's how it feels like to watch our performance it's literally just so annoying to see our club having this idea where we don't need to defend. Let's give the ball away. Why don't... Instead of having that mentality of, hey guys, let's look at the home players and give the ball away. Let's give the ball away to Flecken, to Manbuema, to Mope, to Pinnock. Let's give the ball away to the whole squad. Why don't we have that motivation of giving the ball to our players? Why don't we have the motivation to give it to attacking players? I miss Paqueta. I miss Emerson. I can't believe that I said I miss Emerson. But this so stupid idea of giving the ball away, conceding goals, man, it's just so frustrating to, to see our club fall like this. It's just so annoying. Thanks guys for watching this video. It is just so annoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Olymp next two games is Olympiakos and Forest. Olympiakos on Thursday, Forest on a win on a Sunday. Same motivation on Thursday, same motivation on Thursday, on Sunday, same thing I'm going to say. No problem, nothing's changed. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. If you hit the like button if you enjoyed this um, video. Um, getting close to 50 subscribers. Yeah, peace. I'm out. Come on, your eyes.